Yo, what is good, y'all? Before we get into the new trailer for Spark and Zero, I just wanted to start off by saying rest in peace to Akira Toriyama, who, I mean, I'll be here all day describing how much, not only the Dragon Ball franchise, you know what I'm saying, but Blue Dragon, you know, Dragon Quest games meant to me as well. So, yeah, I definitely just wanted to start the video off by saying that. So, uh, yeah, man, without further ado let's go ahead and get into the new trailer for dragon ball spark and zero official power versus speed trailer let's go peggy oh, 12 sound. hey shout out to the unreal engine though they've been getting some yes sir the budokai tenkaichi series a true spiritual successor okay super trunks badass Even okay, good old oh, So we are getting this the super characters. Okay, okay. This is the true might of a super saiyan strength. Did super super ever get a W? I can't remember. Okay, like cool to a warrior of love. As soon as I said, they start getting his ass with too. Okay, let's go, Master Roshi. Oh, max power, Master Roshi. I'm old, yes. Hey man, shout out to the OG. I wonder if he's not gonna be able to fly like on the old games too. Okay, burger, let's go, fam. I hope you still ain't gonna be out there saying you the fastest in the universe, though, because I mean, that shit has sailed, bruh. Hey, come on. I wonder if they're gonna have the God Destruction version of them on there. We finna get purple comet? Damn. Hey, damn. Hey, why y'all jumping in like that, bro? Yes, sir. Purple comet. Let's go, fam. Oh, yes. I need this game immediately. Okay, Super Saiyan Kale. Let, hey, Broly, my day one pick. I'm just letting y'all know now, bro. Like, I like the new version of Broly, but hey, that OG, yeah. Just screaming Kaka. Oh my god, this looks amazing. So quickly. Don't think you can enter my crosshairs and just walk away. That boy sounds so familiar. You cannot win. Bro. Was that the same voice as Jotaro? Oh shit. Yup. Like he had the good grief. Let's hey yo bro. I need this game immediately. The Budokai Tenkaichi series has returned and it looks glorious, man. Shout out to Bobby Root. Okay, so no release date. Hey yo, man. So first of all, further making it into the trailer. It, it's hilarious, but it does make sense as it is power versus speed. But why did him and Jay jump top off like this with the Jujutsu Kaisen episode? Yo, like they was on his ass, fam. And oh my God, the purple comet looks freaking amazing, dog. Like for a work in progress, y'all on the right damn track. So whatever y'all doing, keep doing that. I can literally just end the video already because it's just, ah. Yeah, man, it's just giving me that PS2 vibes all over again. And, and hey, yo, once again, was that the same voice actor that played Jotaro that was voiced and hit? Because I feel like when he hit that, I feel like he did that intensely just for like people like us that's in the know. But I, yeah, man, just a little bravo, man. Like, a, I don't know how much of this that Akira was able to work on, you know what I'm saying, before he passed away, but yo when this is done i definitely feel like he will be very happy at the end result <sighs> yeah now bean classes are back and i am so happy that a new generation of kids is going to be able to experience the same trauma that we had to go to now luckily for y'all they did switch it from the analog because hey yo man controls are too expensive these days for me to be having to like experience stick drift because my gala gun ain't going through on goku he just straight up op but like i said i am happy to see that back on the new game play mechanics like you know short dash which will allow you to move at a lightning speed with a button press 
They also got revenge counters, which is an action that enables high speed attacks and defense that are unique to Dragon Ball, as seen in the original story. Super Perception, which is the one that I'm the most interested about because it can only be triggered when you have enough skill count, which is something else that they've added into the game as well. Which is the best way that I can describe that is basically when somebody is like shooting a key blast or something at Goku, he just like waves it away like a fart. That's basically what that's gonna be. So yeah, I'm definitely interested in that and how many skill points or skill counts is gonna you know actually cause for you to be able to do that, which is I think that's that's gonna be intriguing because it's, it's definitely gonna be a gameplay mechanic. You're probably gonna have to monitor and pick and choose when to do certain actions. So yeah, I'm, I'm I like where y'all going. I like I definitely see what y'all. And last but not least, vanishing assaults, which basically lets you do like an instant transmission attack, which I feel like they had that before in Dragon Ball Z games, but either way it go though, those are some of the new mechanics. And honestly, I'm looking forward to seeing how they will be implemented, you know what I'm saying, into the game. So I, yeah, man, like I said, cause Budokai Tenkaichi 3 was just so, so amazing. And this is definitely on its way to being able to surpass that. And yeah, man, like I said, once again, we don't have a release date, but when we do, bro, the clothes being torn off mid-battle, it's just, yo, man. Like I said, it's it seemed like such small things, you know what I'm saying? But, like, that's the type of stuff that I love, you know what I'm saying? Playing the old-school Buddha guy games. Just seeing clothes being torn mid-battle. Because, I mean, one of the most iconic Dragon Ball Z pictures is, like, you know what I'm saying? Goku out beat up and bloody, you know what I'm saying? When you turn the Super Saiyan on Namek. And knowing that you have the chance to kind of recreate that, you know what I'm saying? in the game outside of, you know like the story mode cinematically it adds more depth to the fights you know so yeah man i am definitely looking forward to getting my hands on this game dog. i just yeah i can't wait man. i'm also not sure but it sounds like they maybe added some of the old sound files for budokai tenkai 3 because the way vegeta said gallic gun it definitely sounded like his old og voice you know what i'm saying i mean they could obviously you know, re-record some of them too, but it definitely sounded like some of the old sound files is being used. And that just adds to the nostalgia feeling with the with the new Unreal Engine, and bro, just just take my money now. Whatever digital premium edition they gonna come out with with this, I'm they gonna they gonna have all my money, and I'm not ashamed to say that. They did say that it's gonna be 164 characters, which is about three or four more than 10 KSG three had. Yeah, I'm just hoping that they don't waste slots. You know, not even with like some of the most quote unquote ancillary characters that some people are gonna be wondering, you know, why they even in the game. It's just, I don't need a separate slot for, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. We already gonna have like 10, 15 Gokus and Vegetas, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't need like a Super Saiyan 3 only, you know what I'm saying, character Goku. Just let us do it in the in game battle transformation. But either way it go, man, 164 people is a lot. I mean, I guess my only gripe would be the no no split screen multiplayer or whatever so it'll be like online only but at this point it is what it is it does suck but i mean i don't know they can add it later but it is what it is i'm gonna buy the game regardless not nothing that's gonna keep me from spending money on it so i understand it's a disappointment for people that probably losing their shit over it but yeah if that's the excuse that you're gonna have to not buy this game then that says more about you than anything we did get a quick look at some of the new characters you know like i said super trunks dispo kakunsa master roshi max power you know nap shout out to napa man i still laugh every time i see vegeta you know throw him and blow him up though <laughs> burger topo jay super saiyan kale berserk mode and like i said we got hit voiced by the same voice actor that voice joe Rose, who's my my favorite jojo by the way so yeah man like i said you do see there's a lot of people that's gonna be on this game once again and i can see how some people may be disappointed that we just didn't get i guess to see more newer characters i guess but i am okay with them showing out super characters considering they've been dlc for like xenoverse 2 since the inception of it but yeah, man, just seeing them being in the base game, I just, I can't wait. I know Jiren is probably going to piss me off when I fight him. Honestly, I wonder who's going to annoy me more at a Kid Boo and fighting Jiren because Kid Boo been giving me headaches for years, man. I just, yeah. 
Fuck Kid Boo. We don't have a release date for it yet, but yeah, it's a day one purchase for me whenever it drops. You know, I'm assuming that this is the last game that Akira Toriyama was working on before he passed. I'm not sure if he was doing anything for Dragon Quest or anything like that, but um, I will say, I don't like, I don't know how much he was able to work on it, but it looks like when it's done, it's it is gonna be a banger, man, for real. Shout out to Shameless, but yeah, I can't wait, dog. It, it job well done. Like, I, it's a work in progress, but the work that I'm seeing so far, I am. We're gonna be happy. Like, Dragon Ball Z fans are definitely gonna be happy. I think Akira will be happy with what the final product is, too. So, I can't wait. Seeing this trailer definitely made me happy, dog. Yeah, for sure. But seriously, man, this looks like it could not only become the greatest Dragon Ball Z game but the best arena fighter ever. It looks like they're definitely pulling out all the stops and giving us everything that we want. And one time for the Unreal Engine, man. And that's, yeah, that's it for me. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on the Power vs. Speed trailer. Like the video, share the video, subscribe. Let me know who your favorite DBZ characters, man. And what's some of your favorite Dragon Ball Z games. If any of you say DBZ sagas, I won't judge you, but I would definitely want to 